Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, especially if your name happens to be Anthony. And you're going to be joining Manchester United. Yes, please. David Ornstein confirming this afternoon that Manchester United are close, finally close to that agreement. A 100 million euro agreement with Ajax for Anthony. I'm going to run through all the stories that's breaking this afternoon. I think we're going to be going live later on this evening as well. Hopefully, when the deal gets absolutely confirmed. But after some protra protracted negotiations, I don't know how to describe this set of negotiations. The 80 million price tag that Ajax put on Anthony to rejecting it, to us putting 90 million in, to them rejecting that, to Anthony going on strike, to Anthony having an interview with Fabrizio Romano. It's all a bit odd, weird. Don't know how to describe it, but it might end. It should end. It will end with Anthony playing for Manchester United. Make sure you subscribe and let's run through the news. Everybody here. David Ornstein this afternoon saying that Manchester United are close to that agreement for 100 million euros with Ajax for Anthony. Said that Man United are close to that agreement. The Athletic reported on Friday that Ajax have rejected that third bid. You know that bid, 90 million euros. United have now made progress in negotiations with Ajax with an increasing confidence that that deal gets done. And yeah, he followed that up, said using the word impending, which is an important word here. It's not a case at this point of saying, mm, maybe Ajax won't say. Ajax will sell. I knew that. Straight away, as soon as I saw that Anthony interview, at that point in time, I felt it was uh, uh, Ajax couldn't dig their heels in anymore. Uh, Anthony sort of swept their feet away in that sense. Now, you've got a, a couple of reporters, uh, Gergen Hamstela, who's considered tier one when it comes to Ajax news, saying that Anthony is gone. And you've got Bart Sanders as well saying, look, Anthony is sold. 99 million euros is the rumor. Ajax, of course, are playing literally right now. So maybe after the game, we're going to get confirmation, but this video is already going to be out. But... Eric Ten Hag has wanted his man all summer long. Whoops, there goes that. Don't need that at the bottom of the screen. He's wanted his man all summer long. Manchester United, we didn't go in that early for Anthony. We waited and we waited and we waited. Manchester United and the Glazers all of a sudden found money down the back of the sofa. But we're going to get Anthony and it's going to be a huge, a huge deal. Yes, it's way overpriced. I know it's overpriced. You know it's overpriced. No, no United fan is going to look at that and go, yeah, that's a fair market value. It's inflated. Late in the window, United tax, Premier League tax, all sorts of taxes. On top of that, Anthony fee, increasing it. But as soon as Anthony gave this interview with Fabrizio Romano, he took power away from Ajax in the negotiations or in them being steadfast in the fact that they did not want to sell him. Because prior to this, Ajax could... St it still felt that Ajax had an ability, I think, to hold on to him. But as soon as he came out with that interview, and I covered it in the video yesterday, and it's why I did it yesterday, because I knew the updates in this are going to happen rapidly. No doubt I'll be here live later on today with you as well. And I will bring you the news. I try, I try to be as accurate as I possibly can. That's why I waited until David Ornstein spoke up on this. And I didn't just go with the tweets from Gergen Hamstelar and Bart Sanders, because we've been following Mike Vavage, uh, David Ornstein, and Fabrizio Romano in terms of the updates on this. So I'm glad I waited. But with Anthony... With that interview there, as I said, going back to that interview with Fabrizio Romano, it was, it was this interview here when he was saying, look, I wanted to leave since like February. I asked the club, I went to the club back in February. I also went to the club back in June. I cut my holidays short, went to the club, said, look, I still want to be sold. They offered him a contract renewal. No, I still want to be sold. But Manchester United now, whoops, wrong screen. Manchester United now, David Ornstein has confirmed. We're close to that agreement. That agreement's going to be 100 million euros. And look, it's Ajax of, well, they've done themselves well here, really. It's going to be a record fee for a player from the Eredivisie. They were offered 80 million. They said no. They were offered 90 million. They said no. They were offered 100 million. They said yes. This is Manchester United in the window. This is something that we need to stop because clubs know they can do this. And especially when you go late in the window. As I've maintained, I think if United have gone after Anthony, Earlier in the window for 80 million euros, I think we probably would have got him for 80 million euros. Instead, we're in a situation now where we're paying 100 million for him. But as Ornstein's confirmed, that move's now impending. I, 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 now, that was the feeling that I got. As soon as this interview came out, and I reiterate that, I felt it was impending as soon as that happened. I just didn't, from that point, understand how Anthony could stay at Ajax. Now, Paul Scholes was speaking about the Anthony transfer on BT Sport, yes, and he said, look, I feel a bit. For Anthony, he goes, he wants to come to Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Jeez, uh, uh, biggest clubs in the world. It's hard to read and go up. Biggest clubs in the world. Start again. 
He's at a good club. And Ajax, don't get me wrong, but this is a real club, a proper football club where he'll be seen around the world. I think I think Paul Scholes has been a little bit harsh there, if I'm being completely honest, on Ajax. I, I love Ajax as a football club, but the way that I personally feel that the way that Ajax have negotiated themselves or carried themselves during these negotiations, sorry, I really am losing my words this morning. I don't think they've, I don't like what they've done in terms of setting prices on Martinez and Anthony, getting bids for both of them, rejecting and moving the goalposts halfway through negotiations. It goes to show me that they're not that slick, well-run technical department anymore with um, Jerry Hamstra and Huntelaar. And they're learning on the job in the same way that Manchester United are learning on the job. We shouldn't be paying 100 million for Anthony. They shouldn't be moving the goalposts. But they've got their money. So Ajax will just argue, well, it worked. Screw you. And it kind of did. And there's one person I want to particularly thank at this moment in time. And that is <laughs> that man, Edwin van der Sar, because he stepped in, I think it was 48 hours ago, to help push these negotiations through. And he's done that. And he, I think he's played a critical role in helping push this transfer through. Because up until this, the point where van der Sar stepped in, we were at loggerheads. So van der Sar stepping in, that's a major player in what's happened here. And so is that Anthony interview. Both of those two things together have helped move this situation. Have helped moved this man to Manchester. Move, yeah, move, moved, moved this man to Manchester United. And I'll tell you what, I think that game against Southampton showed exactly why we should all be really, really excited about the idea of Anthony coming into this football club. Let a quick look at the tactical board here. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple. All you do is this. Marcus Rashford. Uh, who am I going to take out? Let me try and add a new one in. There we go. I'll take Rashford out of the team. I'll just put him on the bench. Anthony over there on the right-hand side. It's an absolute given. He's not going to be starting on the left-hand side at any point. He, he's a right winger. He is a right winger who loves to receive the ball over here and watch it. He's a proper Brazilian flair player. Somebody who likes to get the crowd to the edge of their seat. Somebody who likes taking a player on. Likes having a bit of trickery. Uses his skill to get past players. To drive on. And that's what Manchester United need. We need an outlet on the right-hand side. Anthony Langa, simply put, he's not technically gifted enough to take this Manchester United team to where it needs to be. Um, McTominay and Langa can be used in games, I suppose like the Liverpool match, where the emotions were high. The energy was there and they could run off that. They could use the crowd energy to hype it up a little bit. But in games like Southampton, where you need your technical players, your better players like Casemiro, your better players like Anthony to break through the lines, to, to skip past the player, to make that difference that breaks the defensive line of somebody who's sitting so deep, Anthony Langer will not be able to do that. This lad will. And we've been waiting for this. I've been waiting all summer, I suppose, for, it, for an attacking signing of that magnitude. And yes, it's a risk. No, I won't write him off. No, I won't really care about the price tag that goes on him. I care more about the fact that Manchester United need to stop these sorts of negotiations. We need to get more Tyrell Manasseh deals and less Anthony deals. And by that, I mean signing a player when he's 15, 20 million and everybody going, you got a gem there. A bit like when Ajax signed Anthony in the first place for 20, 25 million euros from Santos. Now, Santos, of course, are going to be getting 20% of this deal, which I think is a big, big reason why Ajax have been digging their heels in. Not just the fact that they didn't want to replace him this late in the window, but the fact that they're not going to get 100% of that transfer fee. 20 million, straight to Santos. Santos, you're laughing. You're welcome. Manchester United and Premier League tax, double whammy. But I'm excited about it, man. I really am excited about this team that is getting built by Eric Ten Hag. There's so much more that needs to be improved. So much more. That was far from a perfect game against Southampton, but it was three points. It was a clean sheet. Sandro Martinez, second man in the match performance. Add Casemiro into that team. Add Anthony into that team. You can see the foundations of where we're heading towards, what Eric Ten Hag is trying to build. And Anthony is going to be one of those players. They're, I would say, the favourite players of Old Trafford. In terms of the fans, those players that get you to the edge of their seat because they could do some crazy stuff. They're exciting. I'm excited. You're excited. Hopefully we go live later on today. We get the full news about Anthony joining Manchester United. But Ornson is confirmed that deal is going to be worth 100 million euros. It's right on the edge of it being done. He went as far as using the word impending. It's not maybe. It's not if. It's a case of when. Hopefully sooner rather than later today. But look, Anthony to Manchester United. How excited are you about him? You let me know in the comments below. Bye.